Okay, so welcome to my channel, we're doing your reading. How are you? <laughs> Let's get right to it. Let's just spray some mist. The mist is not available yet, okay? I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> but it's not yet available on the website. What's available for February 8th shipping is my um, quiche deck, so do check it out. And also we have tarot pouches. If you get a tarot, uh, a quiche, or any of the deck actually, you get 40% off automatic on checkout if you get the um the tarot pouch okay so the tarot pouch are discounted okay so let's see what's going on now um this is the bi-weeklies i believe right um, for february um we're gonna be doing the split reading we'll have you and the joiner so the aries will stay put here on this side the joiner will go on this side does it make sense the joiner if you're not an aries stay here and if you're a same sun sign, then you look at other placement. Plus, we also don't use sun sign to pair with zodiac. Okay? It does not work like that. Okay? But this hair worked like that. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what's going on for my Aries. Okay. Let's get you first. Aries, let's see what's going on. Will of Fortune. Very, 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 very right off the bat. Bi weekly or whatever is coming this February right now. Um, things are gonna turn into your favor, okay? Now, what does it mean? Things that you work hard for, but you gotta take a chance, all right? Relationship-wise, you have to give this a go, all right? This is like gambling, basically, with love. And with relationship, is it is what it is. You know, you just have to put yourself out there, okay? And then you see what your chances are. Wheel of Fortune, this can also be giving someone a chance to turn around, meaning to come back towards you, okay? Let's see what the joiner has. Oh, the sun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can be Capricorn or a Leo. Um, this is looking like a... Let me see here. It can be an Aquarius also. Um, someone is very happy to see you. The joiner here. Let me talk to the joiner. You joiner um, are quite, you know, attractive, of course. The sun is uh, attractive. Uh, the luminaries, the sun and the moon are both attractive. Um, so the Aries likes you for whatever you have. Um, you're their bright and shining star over here. This can be a new person also because the sun is always new. We never get a repeat. Mm -hmm. So, but with the Aries can be torn between the new and the past because you, the Aries can still be going around in circles. And if you're not an Aries going around in circles, then it is not you, right? It doesn't have your name, Hilda, okay? With the sun card here, the joiner is very optimistic that the Aries will give them a chance. Knight of Pentacles with the Aries, and there's the Death card. The Aries wants to take it slow, so they go, they're good at starting, and then they never really finish with the Knight of Pentacles. I'm going to come for you, Aries. This is what it is. Especially like if you're in a Shwini Nakshatra, the very first Nakshatra, good at the start up. And, you know, it's like it lacks the finishing. But if you're a Taurus also, then you have a Kritika. You're very much like, where if this is going to go, this is going to go. If it's not, it's not. Kaput. Cut it off. And with the Sun card and the Death card, the joiner here is basically having a moment of like, okay, so I guess I have to change in order for the Aries to give them a chance. All right. So the Aries stop talking to this person, the joiner, until they've changed. This person is considering, the joiner is considering to change, but you're very much upset because the Death card here looks like, ooh, you know, can be Scorpio at the same time. Now, the Aries just wants to be happy. They have a Three of Cups, so which means for them, this can this has a possibility of reconciliation, provided that they're still happy with you, Joiner. But the Aries, regardless, is happy. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands in the Page of Swords. So you've been stalking the Aries, and if you're not, then this is not you. Okay. You're so interested with them, but um, you do limit the interaction with them. You're, the Joiner is playing a push and pull between the Aries here, because you have the Page of Swords and the Seven of Wands. You're saying like, okay, well, they know, you know, they know that they can talk to me, but I'll limit the connection. So you are basically tempting the Aries. It's a bait for the Aries to come through. But the Aries has only one determination. It's about the uh, long-term partnership with the Hierophant, which is good. The Aries will give this a chance if it is long-term, and if it's not, mm -hmm, um, they're just going to cut you off because the Knight of Pentacles will stop. So, yes or no for the Aries. Okay. I feel like I just want to use my own or my own cards. Okay. Let's 
keep going. The High Priestess, there's a good reason why the Aries is very quiet right now. Um, they're focusing on their Nine of Pentacles, their independence. So the Aries has been single for quite some time. And they've been thinking about this, whether a uh, relationship is even for them. You are madly in love with Aries. Ace of Cups to the Two of Cups. So you feel that the Aries is the shebangles, the end all be all of your life. And if not, then move over. There's one joiner here who I'm talking to directly. You love the Aries. You're in love. You feel like this is it. Okay? And don't, don't, no, 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 mm -mm. mm. Don't give me no reasons. With the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, you are, you know? With the Aries, I'm not sure. Because they're the high priestess. They won't even respond to your texts. With the World card and the Four of Cups, you feel like taken advantage by the Aries. The Aries is done with you. Because the Aries is saying like they've given up so many things, you know, they've given up the world just so that this connection can manifest. Okay. Now, the joiner is saying here that, oh, okay, ooh, I don't want the cards to fall. Okay, the joiner is saying here that with the Four of Cups and Two of Cups, they tried so many times with you, Aries. They're actually tired of trying, expressing their feelings, and if this is a new person, because um, the sun, ace of cups, and two of cups. You might meet a new soulmate, Aries, but they lack the sense of like, go, go, go. They take it slow. Mm -hmm. I'm just bothered with the four of cups and the two of cups here for the joiner because I feel like they're not going to play this game anymore longer. I don't see that. You're tired anyway. You understand like, well, it's best for me not to do anything because what I got to do? You know, force this, and you're not doing that at all. You're just letting fate decide since your first card is Wheel of Fortune. You're letting fate decide whether you guys can come back together with the Three of Cups. But either way, with the Nine of Pentacles, you're good. Mm -hmm. The joiner is going to keep soaking, and they're very salty. So it might be a brine good for ham. Like ham, curing ham. Um... They can let go. I don't think so. Not at all. Yeah, they're going crazy. They have the full card. And you're the page of wands. You're keeping the chemistry alive. It's almost like the iris is just... Let's just say if it's a tiger, a lion, or anything in the jungle, the iris is playing with your food. Stop playing with your food. If you want them, go get them. But with the page of wands, I just like what I'm doing right now. And what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is someone's going crazy. And they don't know how to date you, basically. You know, because if you want them, this is very 50-50 on you, Aries. Because I know when you want someone, you go for it. This one, you're 50-50. They're, oh my God, they're all about you. Because they got the two of cups and ace of cups. I will continue this reading, guys. Link down there in the description box below. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, Aries.